Flyers from the Ku Klux Klan have been showing up at homes and businesses in Greene County. And now police are asking for help from the public as they investigate the racist messages. Tonight, Shelby Cassessi spoke with a police captain and the Greene County DA. Police here say these flyers have been turning up across Greene County in people's mailboxes, at the foot of driveways, even at the local laundromat. It's been happening around here for the past two weeks with the most recent distribution just yesterday. Every officer here, I would say, offended and extremely motivated to find the individuals that is passing out this information. Greene County Regional Police Captain William D. Fort says it's been a growing issue over the past few weeks. Ku Klux Klan flyers showing up at local homes and businesses, scaring and offending Greene County residents. They will not tolerate the Ku Klux Klan or any other organization that is going to spread racial filth in their communities. The flyers are usually in plastic bags with bird seed inside to weigh it down. The messages are often racist and promote white supremacy. They also include contact information for the loyal white knights, described by the Anti-Defamation League as one of the largest and most active Klan groups in the United States. My community will be left alone uh, under my watch. The Greene County District Attorney's Office is now assisting the investigation. We're looking for the community's help uh, to identify any individuals that may have stuck those flyers in those yards, in those mailboxes, or on the porches. And as the investigation continues, Captain DeFort has this message for the person or people responsible. If they think that a community that is rural, like Greene County, is going to sympathize with the Ku Klux Klan, they've made a very big mistake. Police here and the district attorney are asking anyone with information about this or anyone who may have received one of these flyers to give them a call. Reporting in Morris Township, Greene County, Shelby Cassassi, KDK News.